Hi, this is Debbie Wicker with the Wicker Homes Group at Keller Williams, and welcome to this week's episode of The American Dream. Today, I am taking you to the heart of picturesque Middleburg, Virginia, in the heart of Virginia hunt country. We're gonna start at a place that is rich in American history and tradition, and we're gonna end at a spot that is bringing back a tradition from colonial America. I am standing here right in front of the Red Fox Inn and Tavern. It was developed and established in 1728. It literally put Middleburg on the map. About 20 years later, a young surveyor named George Washington actually stayed here overnight in 1748. You see, back in the day, if you were traveling by horseback, say you started off in Alexandria, Virginia, like George did, and you're headed out to Winchester, Virginia, Middleburg on horseback was exactly the halfway point. Thus, the name Middleburg came around. Over the years, the Red Fox has hosted popular celebrities from Hollywood as well as well-known politicians. Come on, let's go on to the inside and take a peek. While you're in town and while you're here, don't forget to take a little trip outside. You've got to see the beautiful garden terrace that's right off of the flagstone patio. On a beautiful day, you can't beat a setting like that. But the ambiance in this place is amazing. Just look at these fieldstone walls, the fireplaces throughout the home, the building, and these dark wood beams. It all helps to create this just amazing ambiance here. They have a lovely menu here. They've actually uh, hand-selected specialty game and seafood. Oh, I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> but don't stop the party there. You don't even have to leave after a lovely dinner. The Red Fox Inn is a fabulous upscale romantic resort as well. They feature 22 rooms, suites and cottages. Heck, why not even stay and make it a weekend? <laughs> pretty fun, pretty fun. But we're not gonna stop here. I promised you I was gonna take you to one more spot. Um, the place I'm taking you to next, it actually has started to bring back a very popular colonial tradition and um, not the least of which is the most popular drink during colonial America. Think you know what it is? Come on, let's go find out. Okay, time's up. Think you know what the most popular drink was in colonial America? Get this, it was hard cider. Hard cider? Yeah, back in colonial times, they had so many apples. Apples were plentiful, but guess what? Clean drinking water was not. So what's a colonist to do when you have apples? You make hard cider. So we are here at Mount Defiance Cider Barn. Let's go on inside and see what they have on tap. Come on. Here at the Mount Defiance Cider Barn, they not only make traditional hard cider, but they also make craft ciders. How about uh, something unique like ginger or blueberry or hot pepper cider? Pretty wild. They even age some of their craft ciders in bourbon oak barrels. Also while you're here, don't forget to check out their original location on the other end of town where they make award-winning spirits. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the American Dream TV. I hope I've inspired you with this little trip through Middleburg to go out and find your own American Dream. Right now, I'm going to kick back a little bit, enjoy my favorite hard cider, Pomo, with my hubby, and chill just a little bit. Until next time, cheers. Bye-bye.